YouTube. Oh shit. I am your host, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. Back in here with yet one more video. <laughs> my bro, my bro is back in the building. Gabe, say what up. What up out there, YouTube? Listen, fan. man. Appreciate you stopping my by. My guy. My guy. Absolutely. Appreciate you stopping by. As always, you know what I'm saying? Even though our last video was like a solid month ago, I feel like it's, it it's been too long. Bro. It was a minute ago. Yeah, yeah, it's probably hey, over there. We, we both we living, back here. We both living, you know, you got, you been, hey, you been taking off, you yeah, know. Listen, I, I appreciate the likes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I definitely appreciate y'all. Hashtag alert gang, all right? So listen, this one is a highly requested video. Uh, we're gonna do a reaction to um, Stefan is cold. I guess that's his website. Uh, Stefan is cold The the brother's name is Stefan uh, Klinksdale. Uh, we're gonna do a reaction to him. Watched a couple of videos, um, a couple of minutes of a couple of videos, just to be clear, and decided on this one: the dangers of being a beta male provider. Um, so gonna play a little bit of it and give us give the reaction now immediately um, he, He's a red pill. Uh, I can think it's called MGTOW Individual is he um Yeah, like it, that's what that's what we'll, we'll just get into it for a second. We're gonna give you our, our honest and authentic opinion um, We'll get into it all right. Anything to say before we get started, bro? Uh, we watched a little bit of it. It's a very interesting vid. I got a lot to say. There it is. Yeah, let's get right to it, man. Let's get right to it. Without further ado, let's get right in it. The dangers of being a beta male provider. Like I always say, right? Us men have been programmed and conditioned to be provide beta male provider. We have been programmed and conditioned to treat women nice and kind. We have been programmed and conditioned to, for them to teach us that women are nice. Women aren't like that. All women aren't like that. She's not nasty. She's faithful. She will always love you and be faithful to you. A bunch of bullshit, right? That's what we've been taught our whole life. We've been taught to be nice, do everything right. And not just rhyme. Do everything right. And she will love you forever. Well, I say this. It's bullshit. That's bullshit. There are three dangers. More than three dangers, actually. Of being and becoming a beta male provider. Number one, you're her bitch. She will never respect you. She will get bored. She would demand you to do things and you will fucking do them. You're gonna walk and do them. Like a little bitch. She gets bored. I just wanna comment real quick. I, I agree with him. I, I, like, <laughs> I, I, I agree with him. The way that he does it, you is this shit too, huh? You but but it's entertaining. Like I I get why, um, and and salute. You know what I'm saying? Because j just on the on the respect of being a content creator, um, he's doing it. I know you're not. He's, you're not. You ain't. I mean, I, yeah, I've yeah, done yeah, some yeah. things, you know. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do this. I don't have to do this. Yeah. Well, I think like, um. I agree with what he's saying. Like, if you are a beta male provider, mm -hmm. she has you by the scrotum. And it, she's the commander in chief. She doesn't respect you. She, she, because in fact, like, there's a component where he's saying it's true in the sense that we have been taught that women are these delicate flowers. And if you choose one, because you pick they one. Are. You know what I can do to a delicate flower, John? I can kill it if I chose to. Yeah. yeah uh, that's why well, they are. Cause we can physically harm them, so that's it, why they are delicate flowers. We're supposed to take care of them. Yeah, well, I, you know, the delicate flower I think was for a, a, a period. It's not now, right? Like it's not 2019 where they have a roster longer than your yours, right? 
Like, so they're not a delicate flower anymore. They, they're like dirty. Are we talking from a mentality standpoint or from a physical standpoint? We're talking mentality, so, bro. Okay, so okay, I'm glad we're not we, talking I'm, about. I'm glad, I'm glad we care, uh, clarified that. Yeah. From a mentality <laughs> standpoint, from a mentality standpoint, do I agree? Still no. Okay. Explain. That's not the majority of women. The majority of women have. We have been conditioned. They have been conditioned over time to become like us because they see that we like what. We like women like that. I know a lot of women who are very womenly and dainty and that have them tell you, I want to find a nice guy and get married. That's the women that are out there. The ones that he come across is the one who's like, yo, I got to be like this type of dude to get dudes because dudes don't respect me when, I'm, when I want to be a woman. I need to be a savage. I need to be a, a hardcore at, like, let me get all these dudes. I need to be like that because dudes like that. I'm going to play devil's advocate for a second. I think that there's women out there that say that they want to get married. And they verbally tell you that this is the things that they want, but they may have nefarious intentions or they may have a team and a roster unbeknownst to you. And they're playing the field and they're um, they're doing the things that we okay. stereotypically on movies and shit do savages. We do. But, but because it's 2019 and because the general roles are are evening out and as they even out, there's a dynamic shift. Also, if you multiply that with the effect of coming, some of these um, uh, uh, components of feminism, feminist movements mm -hmm. that uh, somehow paint men as pieces of shit, which I don't agree with, right? Like we can be, but yeah, we can be. Yeah. But so I think it's more like a human thing. There's a human component of people will lie, people will cheat. People will still, irrespective true. of being a man or a woman. Yes. What I think he's referring to is as a young, impressionable boy, you have an idea of what a woman is. And if you find mm -hmm. one, you try to cultivate that and then okay. you're nice to her and then you're providing for her and you're doing all the things that society tells you that you have to do. Okay. And then at the end of it. She's gonna do whatever she she she's got your scrotum in a headlock and she's gonna okay. <laughs> she's gonna do so, whatever she wants at the end of John, the day. John, to your point, you understand right. I two things. One, I encourage women I date, I talk to, I have an uh, interest in to have a roster. If we're not talking, about, if we're not exclusive. If we haven't had a conversation with being exclusive, please have a roster because I have one. And when I uh, probably don't talk to you after I've made my choice to be with X. I want you to have a fallback. So I, I make sure every... <laughs> so you want true. them to be busy because you're busy. Yes. Every woman I deal with, I ask them, do you have a roster? And they ask me, what's that? I tell them what it is. And I say, you should get one. I say, why? Because I have one. And I don't want you to put all your eggs in this basket because I ain't going to lie to you. He ain't. He might not be here for you next week. It sounds like to me, you have the opposite of a scarcity mindset. You truly don't give a fuck. I don't. Second thing. <laughs> second, thing second thing. To your point about these young these young men growing up and you know having this, this, this thought... Of women being a, a certain way and then they get it gets killed right the notion yeah. gets killed uh-huh i don't like saying this and i don't want to say it, but i want to say it because we don't you know we we doing your youtube channel and this i need to i like megan Thee stallion i like cardi b i like Nicki minaj these are three women who these little girls see a lot of right and what is their message fuck niggas get money i'm gonna do whatever i want i do my, with my body what i want I'm going to live how I want. You got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year old girls seeing this. When they get 17, 18, 19, what's their mentality? Same shit. So that's why these young dudes, because we all, as a young man, you want you a girl. You know, so most, most young men, they want to have a girlfriend. They want to go on dates. They want to be able to have that love and have sex with that girl. And they meet this chick and she got eight, nine, ten dudes in the roster because of cause what she's seeing with Cardi doing. You know yeah, saying? and the technology enables it, right? So like it's social not, media, you, the the Tinder, the Bumble. When was in high school, college, two chicks max, three, three. If you had more than that, you was a player. Now you got Instagram and Twitter. A girl can have eighty dudes in her DM, eighty at one time. So Gabe, I, I want to take it, like so where we started this conversation yeah, off. Depending upon where you are right now, I, I feel like I've I've converted you just a little bit in the understanding of where this young man is coming from. He's still wrong. All right, well let's let's keep going. Let's let's try to let's I keep like going. I like his beard. Yeah, that shit throwing me off. His beard's whack. Connected, bro. They got four hams out there now, bro. Yo, speaking of that, I have another video on the channel um, <laughs> about how I regrew my hairline back. 
Hey, check that out. Hey. We'll put the link. Hey. Oh yeah, this hey. is one of my. I, I told, hey. I told Gabe about Tell it. What to do? Yo, show me the headline, hey. bro. Hey. So, hey. It's still there. It's, it's, it's getting. It's listen, getting it was. It was. I was like, Gabe, listen, yeah. man. Let me it's, talk to you real quick. Better. It's getting better. Yeah, yeah. Let me talk to you real quick. Let me holler at you. I'll I put the link up here. I didn't definitely got some people on. You could use that for your beard too, and it can fill in. And fellas, the gaps. don't be mad about it going away because it's technology. God did a great thing with with people, with humans. He allowed us to have our brains and be able to create things. For him, this is where it's sitting. I know they not advertising on here, but they should. Y'all should get my mans. And because there's a lot of men out there who need their shit back. Absolutely. For him, check them out. Y'all need to get on that. All right, listen, we're going to keep on going and see what this brother needs. Some of that, them drops. <laughs> there is no more challenge because women love challenges. There is no more challenge. There is no more emotional turmoil. There is no more emotional turmoil. There is no manipulative games that she can run. Well, she always gonna run them on you. She always gonna run them on you. There is no excitement. There's nothing that she's looked forward to. It's just a daily routine. Because what you do is you go home, you sleep, you take care of her children, you go to work and you pay the bills and y'all go on vacation maybe once or twice a year. No fun in that shit. Ain't no fun in that shit. Just real quick, and, and as he talks, I feel like he's talking to a very certain type of a dude. Maybe that's why we don't really identify what he's, he's talking, talking about. To people like himself. He ain't talking to men like us that run our own shit. We run our shit. We run our stuff. And I know we do because this is my man's and we, we're very similar in a lot of ways. We run our stuff. We don't get ran over. I have allowed certain women, allowed, that's a very specific word. I use that in a very specific sentence. I have allowed some women to do certain things in my life because I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to do it. I can be a lazy, you know, do sometimes. So I let her do her thing because I don't want to. But I don't get ran over. I've never got ran over. I ran over once. I was 18. And you learn from that. I learned from that. And I, I become, mean, you learn from what happened. Yes, and I become an ain't shit dude. I just learned like, yo, I can't let that happen without voicing my my, my opinion, my feelings about it. I, I, I know how to talk to people now. I know so, how to express myself now. So, so, so let me ask you a question. Let's say you were 18 years old. Yeah. Some shit happened. Yeah, it did. And then you go up and you find this brother's YouTube page. Oh, man, I would be a different gay bro. I would be somebody who out here just... Explain that. Um, explain how I would be different. Yeah, if you if you li if you listen to, I'll be somebody who when I met a chick, I'm always on like, it'll be always on on pins and needles like yo she gonna mess somebody else soon so let me just get over real quick let me try and get the pussy real quick so I can get it and get out like mm. let me just let me stick and move because if I stay too long she might end up hurting my feelings or end up doing something I don't like, um, you know because I got hurt once and he he's telling me it's gonna happen again, versus me allowing myself to grow from my own mistakes and understand like. Everybody ain't perfect. I'm not perfect. I didn't hurt women. Mm. What? Like he don't never. He ain't talking about that. He's talking about the guy that hurt chicks, and now that woman is 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 messed up for the, for the next eight years. Cause I didn't did that. I didn't. I know women personally who tell me, "Yo, I was messed up for a couple months, a year after you, dog. You messed. You did some wrong. You you, you did some wrong stuff." Yeah. Me, I just I'm lucky enough and blessed enough to have the, the ability to kind of forget. Cause he. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. Here, here. My my concern is, okay. and I, and I and I and I've said this in a couple of videos. There, there's a lot of impressionable young dudes out there that are looking for answers, and when they come across um, a situation in their life where it's a setback, mm -hmm. I've been through it. You've been through it. Most men go through it. Some go through it again because they don't learn yep. their lesson. My concern is, is that you go up and you find someone who is talking to you in a way uh, that Stefan, Stefan is cold, is talking to you and you take it as gospel without extracting some of the things that he says yeah. and implementing it within your own swag. Yeah, that's that's crucial. Um, so, like, I get it, but yet I don't because... I'm a I'm a data receiver. I I I've, I I take pieces of other people's puzzle, other mm -hmm. people's experiences, mm -hmm. put it to myself, 
how can how can you can kind of put a spin on it. So listen, when 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 I became much more knowledgeable, and I won't even say it's female nature, and this is the thing, like red pill, like they talk about female nature. It's human nature. It's it's not a it's not a man ah. versus woman thing. Yeah. Like it's a human it's thing. Knowing people, women will screw you up <laughs> just like dudes will. I mean, the. I can we can go through Google right now. I'm not gonna go through it, but like, how many times you hear like a best friend? Yeah. I was listening to um, whose show was this? And he was talking about his brother. Who's that comedian? Um, white guy. Um, it's like three of them, dog. Gary Owen. Nah. It's the last one. He was know. popular about 15, 20 years ago. I forget his name. I'm gonna leave it in the description. His own brother. Dane. Stole Dane, Dane Cook. Cook. Dane Cook. His own brother stole millions of dollars from him. His mm. own, his blood brother. Mm. That wasn't a female. That's his brother. Like, Again, it's, it, it's it's a human thing that we go through. Well, the one quote that I often call it is that absolute power absolutely corrupts. Mm. So when you think about this red pill thing, it's the act of not letting someone gain power over over you. And you also not being emotionally caught up in a situation to a degree of being blinded by the data, yeah. being blinded by the white flags or the red flags, whatever you want to call it. Right. My my concern is as people that look like us, we suffer from a lot of PTSD um, for things outside of relationships, things outside of brother to brother or brother to sister. Mm -hmm. We suffer from a lot of PTSD outside of that. So if we bring it inside and we start corrupting each other, we are inhibiting our growth. Yeah. We're inhibiting the shit. We're, 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 we're putting a cap on what that growth can be. We've made a lot of progress over the past couple of decades. And my fear is that things like this can, 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 oh, yeah. it, it, per, it perpetuates a slowdown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, perpetu it perpetuates a slowdown for young, uh, for young, impressionable, and and ill-experienced. Well, you gotta think about too, John. We had OGs growing up. Yeah. We didn't have the. We had we had maybe three people. I know me. Me, and my dad wasn't closest, but I could go maybe talk to my uncle or you know my my friend's dad. You know what I'm saying? Who was you know we? I, my, I was lucky enough to live on the street where I had th two other good, really good friends, and they all had their fathers in their lives. And if you know, we even talk to each other's dads, and, you know, yeah. they put you on game versus going to the internet. You got hundreds of dudes who don't know what the hell they're talking about or who've been hurt before, and you don't know because they, you know, they somebody you I can identify with. And we had OGs is like, yo, young blood, don't let that happen, man. It gets better. You know, I tell my nephew all the time, it gets better, man. That girl that you like, that likes somebody else, don't worry about that. It gets better. You're going to find somebody that's for you versus telling him, Oh man, forget her, dog. You, man, you should just go do this and that. X, Y, Z with a whole bunch of chicks. Like, yeah, you know, I ain't gonna tell my, my 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 little blood that for what? You you, you know what? Let me play devil's advocate. I, I hear what you're saying. I agree with you 100. percent Let me play devil's advocate as well. There's OGs that are just like him. Yeah, but <laughs> there's OGs that are just like him and will re lead you down a long a wrong path yeah. as well. Yeah. So whether or not it's your OG or the internet, you're getting information from different sources. And it's like, well, how do you step outside of the information that someone's feeding you? And it was fucked up. It's like, I talk about this on occasion. There's, there's some of us that are born on a different difficulty setting, right? If you're born to parents that are shitheads, you're on a different difficulty setting because yeah. from, from inception, conception, sorry, wrong movie, <laughs> from, from conception, your baseline for right and wrong is fucked. It's skewed. It's skewed like shit. Ugh. It's skewed like shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think about like that. That's a good way. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. So like, you know, it's like, and actually, I just posted a video not too long ago about keeping people uh, close to you who challenge you. Yeah. Right. Like, if you find yourself in a circle of agreeable people, everyone around you does nothing but this. In the wrong circle. You're in the wrong circle. You're in the absolute wrong circle. If there's not anyone in your circle that's smarter than you, you're in the wrong circle. In a circle that someone can't teach you something, you're in the wrong circle. And always ask why. 
it's healthy to be a contrarian as long as you're not being a dickhead as you're doing it. Yeah. When I say contrarian, it's just questioning. Ask why. When someone feeds you a topic and or an idea, ask why. If someone says, why are you asking why so much? Leave them alone. Leave them alone. And often what happens, if, if you ask them why, they'll get defensive. Yeah. Because now they have to explain the ideas that they are imparting on you. Which, yeah, tip, usually they're dumb if they're asking you why you're saying why. Yeah, if they, if they ask you why you say why and they get defensive, either they're dumb or they just haven't taken the opportunity to walk through that idea yet. And that's a dumb idea. <laughs> Either you, way it goes. You, you fucking on one today. Yo. yo. <laughs> That's my bro. Because I'm like this my guy. I, I feel like he has you aggroed. Well, when we first we watched we, we watched a few video before we got to this one, and I'm just like, what is he talking about? Mind you, I, you know me, John. I champion women, right? I champion <laughs> being respectful and honest and open to women because at the end of the day, they're amazing like they're beautiful creatures they're 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 goddesses like I, I i truly believe that so when this guy hear him talking about these women they 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 nasty this and that so what so what let her be what she want to be you, you don't love her or not so dude go somewhere and man somebody hurt him man it sucks because he needs to sit down and talk to somebody for real he needs he needs to talk to somebody and that hate he got you need to get rid of it man i don't like it i don't like it at all yeah, I, I think it's not attributed in the correct direction. But you said you told me he was like, Gabe, I could be wrong. And you probably probably right, John. Yeah, so so what if he he's not hurt? And let's say And he's stupid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but listen, listen. Okay, so so take for example, like, um, so you hear the way that he talks. Yep. And you prescribe that he's hurt currently. Yep. Let's say that he has not been for shits and giggles. Yeah. Let's say that he has not been hurt. He wasn't in a relationship and a chick did him dirty and now he projects his hate onto the internet. Let, let's say that that's not the case, not the case. Okay. in your eyes. I'm not saying that that's the case, yeah, but let's yeah, say that that's not, not the case. Like How do you think that he's come to these conclusions? If he never was hurt, uh, he grew up in a society or he grew around men who did dirty to women and they reinforced him you gotta do this to get this you mm. gotta treat her like that to get your way you gotta treat you gotta make her you gotta make sure she knows she ain't shit to let her know that you run shit that you the alpha and that mm. right there ladies and gentlemen is wrong and it's stupid so so let me i'm gonna play devil's advocate because i feel like it, it helps pu uh push yeah. the conversation forward yeah. but it works though who said what words? <laughs> There's components of what he's saying, right? Look at the title of the video, The Danger of Being a Beta Male Provider. There, there, there's, there's, you don't win being a beta male provider. You do not win. I agree ever. With the title. You do not. Like, like ever. Why, there, there's is, not why a, is it a game? Why is it a game? Because we, you, you talked about it. Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. This is the culture now. Yeah. What, what they purport and it's different when we grew up because we had also had yeah, like right. there was like little Kim there was yeah but she even was like Foxy Brown but at the same time that all that was going on you had boys to men yeah. you had Jodeci you had Drew Hill you had the antithesis of what that other side was yeah. today yeah. you don't got that it's you know like, what I'm saying all of it is and in fact like like bro like even think about how hard it was to find porn when we were children you can, not right now. You go to World Star Hip Hop and it was on my Twitter feed, dog. It's just there. Like I right. really liked it. Like, so, so they're gonna introduce way earlier. Also, it was a point in time where you can only meet people outside of your house. Yeah. Now, literally, I can swipe right now, yeah. meet somebody, go and across the street. There you go. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm, I'm Gabriel. What's your name? Or you know, we go from there. What do you do? It's so bad. it's a different era. It's a different era. So with a different era. There's new rules to the game. This ain't it, though, John. This ain't it, man. So, so what is it? Like, like, and you know what? I, I think a component of we got to keep on hearing what he has to say. I'm, let's, I mean, I, I'm gonna keep watching because he's. All right, let, let's let's watch and then let, like let's stop yeah. later if like yeah, he says something else. It's like, only 15 minutes. We can go through. Let's do it. Number two. She becomes less sexually attractive to you. You don't get her pussy wet. 
You will not get her sexual best. She will cheat on you. She will fuck another guy. You would never find out, though, because you believe that all women aren't like that. You haven't killed the fucking beta because you're a bloopy old bitch. Yeah, I said it. You leave with your wallet. You take her out on dates when you first meet her. She lost respect for you. Or you held frame and then you fucking broke. How would you feel if you bought a mirror from the store and it's a the, 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 the store owner told you that the mirror will never break and then you throw a rocket and it breaks? You'd be like, what the fuck? It's the same thing with these fucking bitches. You try to be masculine, you try to hold frame, you try to be this alpha in the beginning. And then you just fold like a little bitch. <laughs> just fold. I told, I told. That's what you do. Because she's so sexy. Because her ass is so big. Because her titties are so big. Do you know what a man, you know what a woman respects? A woman respects a man that doesn't compromise no manhood, his manhood for shit. No matter how sexy she is, no matter how much money she got. If that bitch don't comply, she has the goodbye. But you, as a beta male fucking provider. Yeah, uh, so, so what, what did you just say? Is he talking to beta male? That's what I was trying to say earlier. I think that there's a particular audience that is not me and you. I think, you ever heard of an incel? No. It's a, um, it's a shortened term for involuntary celibate. Oh, I know what that means. Just, you I, know what that I, means. I know the two words mean separately. So yeah. So, it, so it, they, they abbreviate it. It's your choice. And it's not your choice. It's an involuntary celibate. I feel like, number one, like, I'm going to go on a limb here. I don't think he's actually like this in real life. I don't think so. I think he's, he has a, he's I mean, entertaining I'm, to a degree. Listen, man, I'm a, I'm, I'm 100% a guy. I, I like women, but he don't like an unattractive guy. Like, he get women. So why? That's why I'm like, I'm confused why he talking well, like this. he found a niche. So listen, the, the so listen, Gabe. I, let me try to break it down in a way that I think make, would would try to make sense for for like you and me. There's a lot of dudes out here that don't have your accolades, that don't have your height, that don't have your build, that don't have X, that don't have Y, that don't have Z, and they're struggling in the dating game. Okay. And they're trying to figure out. Damn, there's a lot of competition out there, and the competition has not gotten easier since a Nicki Minaj has been around, you know, since a Beyonce, you know, and what she talks about, since a Beyonce has has been out, and she's talking about, I need a soldier, since a Cardi B has been out, and she's talking about whatever she talks yeah. about, since social media has increased the women's options, yeah, since Tinder, Bumble, that's John. All like all of these things are weighing against because they were increasing options, and and then also, the culture has told you a dude like how to how to treat them. Yeah. Meanwhile, they'll tell a woman might tell you that that's what they want, but unbeknownst to them as well because the culture influences them as well. It's not actually what attracts them. Mm -hmm. Like like what attracts them is not. Um, being sensitive with your emotions. What attracts them is what my man is just saying that you will never compromise your manhood yeah. ever for anything. Just be, for anything. What attracts them is being yourself, dog. So, so got it. But like, but look, but if he's if his audience mm. is like an involuntary celibate, if his audience is someone who was like recently hurt. Mm then that's why I feel like you're having an adverse reaction to the things that he's talking about. But then again, as I said earlier, my problem with that is that you're giving instructions in a way that won't promote the culture. The, the difference between like an AMS and what I see like right here is I feel like AMS has frameworks, he has structures, he has, uh, He's got rule books. He's got basic tenants. Yeah, yeah. So when I hear AMS talk, it doesn't, to me, come from a place of being hurt. Mm -hmm. It's just, listen, I've dated a lot. 
Here's the inputs that I'm receiving. Yeah. Here's how you can improve. That's fine. Because that's his experience. And he's just telling you, this guy is talking about from, from just... Yeah. He, well, what's his experience? Is this his is it or just... Like, I don't... So we haven't watched enough of video. Maybe he talks about his experience in, in, like, in his videos. I wouldn't subscribe to his channel, John. <laughs> but I feel like the problem here is all I'm, all I'm hearing is women are shit. You're a loser. Be strong. Be aggressive. Yo, he's one of them guys that come to like... You're like all 35 and older group. And tells you you need to be better. Like he's that guy. He's like he's not the one that's gonna be there to build you up. He's there to tell you ain't shit. And that that's supposed to somehow make me do better. Is that what it is? Listen, there's a lot of coaches that make a lot of money on telling you that you suck. I I, I don't know those guys because I don't want to hear that. Maybe I stay away from those people. Yeah, but think, I mean, think think about athletics. You got a point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm think, think I mean, a high school basketball coach, and I don't tell my people they suck. You got a point, John. Yeah. yeah I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's why I was telling you how you can get better. Think about like the marine. Aren't you also? I am the military. In the military, yeah. think, think about what do they call it? Boot camp. A drill, drill sergeant. Boot camp, boot camp. Yeah. yeah, you got a point. Yeah, so I mean, there, there's an audience for this type of stuff. I, I actually applaud this young brother. Because do you? I, yeah. But, so I, I think that there's so like also too like when I look at AMS's channel, mm -hmm. and here's a mistake that I've made. I've done a lot of um, videos off of his old content. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's just based off of what's recommended to me because I, I, I'm not an avid watcher, but I respect AMS. Yeah. Um, but when I watch this stuff, it's usually when someone else is right next to me. So I usually get his old videos because I'm not watching it like that, like that. But I actually watch a newer video of his mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, shit, the amount of growth that I've seen um, in the type of stuff that he says. And I know he says that his content is ever changing. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and his rules to the game, it's got to be able to flex with the time. And, and But I've seen like a difference in the stuff that he teaches versus what he used to teach. You know what I'm saying? So like when I see what he's talking about right now, I can only hope for, for growth, like eventually. I pray for him, man. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, he has an audience. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? And and that audience is not, it's, it's not people who... You know, I hate to use this analogy. Get pussy. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say it for come on, you. Come on, you you like what? What's that? Uh, the 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 Barack Obama in, in, interpreter, Ken Peel. Oh, I yeah. feel like you're my goddamn <laughs> interpreter Yo, I, sometimes. Pussy, <laughs> when he said to, he said that he said a comment, John. Yeah. And I thought about our conversations, right? You take a girl on the first date. Listen, I told we had talked about this maybe last time. I saw it was two weeks ago, maybe two Sundays ago. Mm -hmm. He was like, hey, "Why are you taking these girls to nice places?" I said, "John." I take women places I want to go. Places I'm gonna go by myself anyway. Mm. I'm gonna go to Pint House, or well not Pint House. I'm gonna go to to, uh, to, to to the steak spot. I'm gonna go to the nice wine spot. I'm gonna go to the nice food spot by myself anyway. So if I want to have the company of a beautiful young lady with me, why not ask her if I'm going anyway? Mm. So of course I'm gonna say, hey, you want you would you like to come with me on this date to this place? I'm going re regardless if you come or not. It ain't me being a beta male saying I'm gonna take you on the first date. This is what happened. She got lucky enough for me to text her and say, so you want to go? And she said, yes. Mm. She could have said, no, I guess I did. Went by my damn self anyway. Yeah, but 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 you're confident with being yourself. 100%. Listen, his target audience is people who are not confident in being themselves. So why are we watching this bum? Well, that's what, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, dog, there's a lot of people out there. You right. A lot of people out there. Maybe I should start a channel there about being confident. Because I used to be like, I used to be this guy. I already told you you should start a channel. Bro, well, for those who don't know about a channel, I do. Go ahead, I'm, shout it out. It's, my YouTube channel is my name, it's Gabriel Hemingway. Gabriel Hemingway. I had a podcast called G Spot, check it out. It's talking about the opposite of what you talk about. We're about champion, championing women and you know how ways we can be better as men to make sure that they're, you know, that we're loving and caring about our stuff. Cause I used to be like, I used to be the guy you talking about, high school. I was a dude that was like, yo man, why chicks is like this? And I would've believed them. if I was 17, 16 years old watching this, I would've been a whole different person, 100%. But I had to go through trials and relations with in relationships in my dating life to grow and become a person today. And I'm still growing. I'm still sometimes ain't shit dude. I'm still sometimes the best dude ever. But that's the growth, man. That's what it is. This guy right here, you said he got an audience, man. I keep wanting to come back to he might be doing it just to get a check, bro. And if he is, that sucks. Because I believe I don't want no black man saying this about no black woman. Women in general, honestly. It's it's, it's crazy, man. But there are women out there like this, John. There is. They were. That is ain't for you. 
Because I guarantee that woman that you're talking about that's crazy and freaky and all that, she going to find a dude and she going to stop all that. Listen, is it, yeah. Yeah. It, you know, there's a lot of ain't shit people out there. You know, but it's an ain't shit person for them out there too. They're going to find that person. They're going to ain't shit together. My, my thing is, here's what I do. I, I use red pill philosophy to filter the ain't shit. In my quest, and it's not even a quest, but in in my in my <laughs> journey of putting the most dope people around me, yeah, like li like literally, that's what I do. Like this shit is so much bigger than than who you're in a relationship with, who you're dating. Like, like it's your life. It's your tribe. You know, it's, it's your tribe. tribe. Like this is, you know, I think like. Like, if you think of what it takes to be happy on this earth, mm -hmm. it's not a it's not about how many vaginas you can get into. It it has it has never. Yo. It's also not about how much money that you can make. I mean, th there's there's goals that that you have to mm -hmm. set forth in order to be secure, right? Like, yeah. you know, if things break, if your health goes out of whack, you're comfortable in the financial aftermath. You see what I'm saying? However, here's what I think happiness really is. It's a function of how many people around you really and truly, truly love you. That's what I think happiness is. Because these are your riders. Yeah. These are your two o'clock in the morning, some shit popped off, Yo. and they'll ride for you. They will ride for you. Yeah. They will ride for you, and 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 here's what I struggle with. Even in my own journey, I'm not I'm not here trying to say I'm perfect. You know, those things that I'm still trying to work. I'm trying to work on. You know, if you think about, um, you know, a woman who can get close to you and letting them in close enough to understand really who you are, how you tick, in this pursuit of happiness. I know what does not help me. If I just self-select. It, it, that they're all shit. Okay, I, I didn't know he was going with there, but that was good. I was like, what, you like that shit? I was like, I, I didn't know he was going for. So I was like, wait, where he going with this? <laughs> that was good. That was good. I was getting nervous for them. Like, yo, what do you want to yeah. do? That, that's that's not like I can't hate anybody. Yeah. I like, but what, what I can do is use red pill methodology to yeah. read out the bullshit. I will, I will hit you at a very logical level for the for probably, probably way longer than what I probably yeah. should. This I, it, you already know me. Hey, you already know me. Man, but he, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I take in data, and 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 I judge internally about you. I won't say it out loud, <laughs> but but I do. I'm a data. But like that's what I do. I see what happens around me, and I take the inputs in, and then I'm gonna come up to some type of conclusion, and that conclusion is gonna more readily help help me identify how close I should let you in. Y'all gotta be just as precise in your life, in your journey towards happiness, in defining how many riders, how many riders that you have. Because as you increase the riders in your life, you'll increase your happiness. That's facts. Yeah, that's, that's what it comes down to. Man. When you wake up, are you happy with yourself and with the people around you? Yeah. Like, you can hate, like, you can not like going to work, you can not like, your, your, your parents, your family, but it's, your, it's the people you can select. Because once you get a certain age, you select your friends. You select your family. We, I got a family, man, as we call each other sometimes. Yeah. I select these people. And they're great. They're all great. They're awesome. I wouldn't ask anybody else. Yeah. And I'm happy about that. This man ain't got no family. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say shit? He, no got, an, he got an ancient Listen, barber. Man. Did you say, I'm going to not connect this. Oh, you this a school. goddamn hater. Let, let, listen, let, I, I feel like we gotta stop this video. Steph, Steph is cold. I'd appreciate rapping with you, bro. Like if you're watching this video, if you, <laughs> which you probably never will do. We hey, stop. <laughs> but, we'll talk, but watch the video. I'm gonna make. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. Make, if anybody out there listen, follow, subscribe to him, make sure you watch this because I, I don't. I don't have a knock against. I don't know this man. Listen, man. I would appreciate rapping to you, bro. Like just, just really, just, just, just like on some G shit. I would appreciate just rapping with you. All right. Listen, man, so I'm going to, we, we, we've been going on way too goddamn long. We haven't made it through this video. You know what I'm saying? Whack. Ah, oh, come on, man. 
We haven't made it through this video. <laughs> yeah, but listen, Gabe, as always, yo, my, my brother, brother from another for life, man. Listen, my man. Ass. This is what we do. We get up and we talk about shit. Now we just have a platform yeah. to be able to bubble up the conversation. Y'all should hear half the shit we talk about. Oh man, I, but I water. I, I try to. I try to water things down in a way that makes this, sense. Y'all, y'all think y'all know this, man? What are you crazy in person? Come to Columbus. Why? Well, come on, man. Come on, you fight, you messing my brand up. Oh, when I say crazy, I mean like just intellectual. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You drop a lot of knowledge. I like he's the way you're smart. He's that. a smart guy. He knows a lot of stuff. You know, he un understands a lot of things. Like I said, he's a thinker. He's about, you know, facts. He's, he questions things. That's really what I like about John. He's a question. He questions stuff. And it kind of gets you to think about things from different perspectives, man. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, real quick before you end this, follow me. at the, Some of y'all follow me on Instagram, which is cool. Mr. Underscore Hemingway 1M, man. If y'all the case with Hemingway, like Ernest Hemingway, and it's not him Ming, it's him ing way. Just spell it real quick. H E M I N G W A Y. And follow me on Twitter at Gabe Hemingway, man. Also, hold on, John. YouTube channel. I got one too. I don't post like my man's John. Mediocre tutorials and all that. You keep saying my real name, and, and, oh. and I'm not going to edit it. I thought they knew that. I didn't see a last name, though. Good. <laughs> but keep that's, going. That's dumb. I said my whole life. YouTube. Go keep going, YouTube. motherfucker. Listen, you can be in the comments of this video. You should be in the comments of yeah, this I'm, video. I'll, I'll be in the comment. All right. It's shit. Gabe Hemingway. That's my page. Yes, I got a podcast called G Spot Podcast, man. Um, also, Talent Six Podcast. Check me out. Check my guys out. Check this man out. He wrote a book. Yo, everything. Year. Yeah, they wrote a book last year. Listen, man. Yeah. Uh, you know what? We got to. Uh, I'll put the book in the comments. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, I put the, I put the book in the description. Yeah. So you guys can check it out as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, Gabe, again, I appreciate awesome. you coming through. It's and we got to do another one do. right now, bro. But actually, we was kind of planning on going out right now. Oh, we are. I'm going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's hot. It's weekend. He, he can't go. He got to work. He got to make sure he got content for y'all. Y'all y'all see what he give up for y'all? He give up kicking it for y'all. For real. Y'all better. Can we get 10,000 more subscribers in the next six months, please? For real. Please. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> but it is what it is. Can we get two thousand more, please? I mean, I mean, it, it's a lot, but at the same time, it's like I'm doing it for a purpose. I get some comments sometimes, and I'm just like, oh fuck. Yeah. I gotta keep going. Yeah, you should. I gotta keep going. You started now, you can't stop. Yeah. When you first started after your fourth video, you stop. Is what it is. But you like, you you in it. You in it now. You're I'm, I'm you're a guy. You you've been noticed on the street. You're a guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do a video on that as well. Someone actually yeah. noticed me who's a subscriber. On the street where I live. Like, it's crazy. Um, but anyway, this has been your video. Mediocre tutorials and reviews. We are out. Lit over here. Wait, hold on. Let me smack them up real quick.